Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a fill in form value uh, that gives you a default selection. So what does that mean? Basically what if we're using Excel to create forms and we're giving it to users or even we're using it ourselves for kind of ease of use. So maybe there's a portion of the form where we fill it out, we want to have a area where we fill out um, or we select from uh, one of many options, uh, limited options, and the other area where it fills it out, we have the choice, in this example, we have a region, we have a choice of whether we want to fill out a specific address here or take the drop down. So I can fill out an address, I can go 123 Main Street, because maybe this is some kind of form to ship or, 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 or send something to. And I can just type the address there, press enter, and type the phone number, 555-1212, uh, right? Or I can just use the drop down and select a default address, right? And so it'll take that default address of that particular uh, place, right? This is US East, and it'll take that address. And this is basically sourcing off a table here. And this is basically uh, a table here, US uh, East is this New York address 646, right? So we can also have the option, you know, of course, if you didn't, it, w it was not US East, maybe it was an Asia address, and it changes it because that's a default selection, 151003 or 03, 151003, uh, right? Uh, and you can also change it here. If I selected something different, I can change it here, 123, and then 222. Let's just make make those numbers up. So there's a way to create this. And it makes it easier if this is something where you send it to users where the, there actually is a formula behind this. is a VLOOKUP formula uh, behind these two fields, the phone and address. And you don't really, if you send it to users, you don't really have to have them uh, mistakenly overwrite it or uh, you see them look at this formula and they go, what what is that? And, and it just makes it a little bit easier for the form to be filled out in a way. So let me show you how to create something like this. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and just take the table into another sheet. Control C to copy, uh, Control N for a new sheet. I'm going to put the table here. Okay, let me, go ahead, let me go ahead and just click paste. And Oh, it didn't paste over the, the word wrap, so let me see if I can uh, paste special here. Let me see if I can select the columns. Here we go. Keep the source with columns. So I'll go ahead and click on that, and it kept the source with columns. That's nice. So let me go ahead and create a new sheet here. And this will be my form fill sheet. I've got my region, and then the address, and then the phone. All right. So with the region, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create some name values, some uh, names for that particular region. So now I'm going to go ahead and create my drop down for the region. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sheet one here, where I have my table. And I'm just going to go and select the cells here. And these are the options in the drop down, or the options if I select region, which it will choose from. So I can just select the cells here and I'll just type in uh, region, or I could just copy this. It'll make it easier. Control C to copy, select this, and then go into the name box here, and then Control V to paste. And it pasted in the region um, name. So press enter. And now if I go here, go to name manager under formulas, go to name manager, you'll notice that there is name region. And for the values, it has selected that range of data, US West, US East. It kind of didn't uh, show it up because it didn't fit here. So if I fit it here, you can see uh, that list of values shows up here under the region name. Go ahead and click Close. And let me go back into Sheet 2 here, where now I can create a data validation dropdown for that. So go under Data, go under Data Validation, and the value, it's going to be a list. So I'm going to go into the source. The source is going to be the name. So I can just type uh, the F3 key. It will bring up the paste name box. Go ahead and double click that. It selected it and put it in there. Click OK. And now I have a drop down. So if I click this drop down, you'll notice that my different uh, values that I can choose from that list are there. So if I select US East, it shows up. Let me go ahead and just increase the size here a little bit. So now what we want to do is we want to have um, the option to let a user put anything in here or choose the default value. So first we have to do kind of a lookup. So basically whatever gets selected here, we want to look look up uh, the value from the second column for that cell. So for, so for example, US East. If I select the US East, I want to have that show up in the option to select in the dropdown. So the first thing I want to do is do a lookup. And I'm going to go back into sheet two here. So I'm going to do a lookup and that's going to be using the VLOOKUP function. So I'll type equals VLOOKUP, go ahead and tab 
to complete that. The lookup value is going to be this value in cell C3. Press the comma. My table is going to be this table here. I'm going to select this table here. I'm going to go ahead and press the F4 key to lock that into place because I'm going to copy this down. Actually, I should probably lock this into place too. Now let me go ahead and press function F4 to lock that. So basically what it does is when I copy that formula down, um, the references to these these values don't change or the cell references don't change. Uh, you'll notice there's a, there's a concept of absolute versus cell reference and that's what happens when you copy things down and you don't put the dollar signs in front. Uh, these values may change for example, C3 may change from to C4, C5. Um, blocking it with the dollar signs uh, prohibits that from changing. So the column index for this first one is going to be the second column, right? It'll be column number two because that's a three-column table here. We've got my region, the address, and phone. The second column is the address. So comma, and the next value is do we want approximate match or exact match? So I want an exact match. So I can go ahead and click that, or I can just type in the zero, a number zero for that. So press close parentheses, press enter, and now you'll notice that it showed up for US East. So what I can do here is I, I select the dropdown here, go ahead and select that dropdown, go to Asia, it'll select the Japan portion of that uh, table, right, the, for the address for that. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just copy this down. So go ahead and just bring the fill handle here and just kind of bring it down here. It's going to copy this formula down and uh, you see that it's the same thing and the reason why is I want to change that value here. So this is the second column. That's the, that's correct for the address, but we want to bring back values for the third column. That's the phone number. So I'm going to change that to number three. Press enter and it will bring back the phone number. So now if I change this, if I went to Europe, it will bring me both the address and the phone number correctly. So this is great if we wanted to stop here, but we, no, we wanted to create a form where it kind of hid this lookup or gave the option for uh, someone or myself to go ahead and type in a different value. And see if I typed in a different value, it would overwrite this particular function. And we don't want that because we want to give uh, that option still available if we change it later on. So what I want to do is I want to create a, another uh, named range. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, Control C to copy. I'm going to take that formula. I'm going to go in and press escape to get out of edit mode and I want to go into the name manager. Go ahead and go to formulas, go to name manager. I'm going to define a name and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that formula into here where it says refer to. So I'm going to go ahead and control V to copy and here I'm going to call this one uh, address lookup, right? Address and, uh, and no spaces, lookup or maybe I'll just call it uh, default address, default address. Right, so that's one name for that one. Click OK, and what I can do now is I can put that in here. So I have to put that in here as a data validation list. So let me go ahead and just delete that. So now the f the formula is gone. Oh my gosh! I'll go under data, go to data validation, and I'm going to select list, and here I'm going to call it. I'm going to put the plus sign, and then function of F3, and I'm going to choose the default address here. Uh, click and there's one thing that we need to do to ensure that this gives us a or um, type of situation and that's when you can type something in or you can select the drop down basically if we just kind of clicked OK it only enables us to use the drop down and if we type anything in the box we'll get an error alert so I'm gonna go and click on this error alert and uncheck that and click OK so right now I have the option of using the default address or typing something in so I can use a default address it will use that lookup value and bring back the default address here. So if I select Asia, you can see now it selected that or I can just type and if I didn't want that address, I can just type one, two, three, main street. I don't know if there's a main street in Asia in Japan, but there you go. So now it lets me do that selection. Now all I need to do is do the same thing for the phone number. So I'll go ahead and select that formula, control C to copy, press escape to get out of edit mode and go ahead and make another name. And I'll go I'll call this one default default phone and put the formula in here, control V paste, click OK, and go ahead now. The second step is to create the data validation. I'll go ahead and just delete that to make it a little bit more clear. Go under data, data validation. This is also a list. Go ahead and select the list option. And I'll go ahead and plus sign. And the F3 key will bring up the paste name box. 
this is the default phone, click OK. Also uncheck the error alert, click OK. And now I have that option to select the phone. So if I want to use the default phone for Asia, I just go ahead and select that drop down, which gives me the correct one. And let's see if it works for everything now. Let me go ahead and select Europe, and it gives me everything. Uh, this one was something that I uh, typed in, so let me go ahead and select the default here. So now, when both are selected for the default, if I change it up here, US East, US what? Oops, and then Europe. Or if I didn't like that phone number for Europe, and this is the right one, maybe the phone number changed, or I want a different department, uh, I'll just type in some bogus number, 555-555-1212, right? And now I can change it. So I have the e, I have an or, or capability. I can either uh, type in a name or select the, the default from the dropdown. Now, if this is a form that you sent to somebody and you wanted to make it a little bit more helpful, maybe you can put those boxes in that say when person clicks in there, it gives them some instruction. So we have to do that back into the data validation feature. So I'll go ahead, go to data, data validation, and the input message is where I would put it. So maybe here I can say uh, enter phone, enter address, or use the drop down for the default address. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just select this and control C to copy because I'm just going to change wording on the next field here. So I'll click OK. And now you can see it showed up. So if I clicked here and selected a drop down and I went to this cell to start inputting something, you'd see, oh, now there's kind of a helpful message that says, oh, either you enter an address or you use the drop down. So if I wanted to enter address, I can just type one, two, three. And then, or I can uh, click back up there. It tells me, oh, there's a drop down. So I'll click on the drop down and we have the same there. So I can just do the same thing for the phone number here. I go under the data validation, go under the input message, and I'm just going to go ahead and press control V to paste that and just change this to phone, right? I just use phone and then default phone, right? And click OK. And now we have this particular message for the phone uh, field here. So I can either use enter phone number or use the default 555, 555, right? And so now I can click on there. It gives me that message. So there's the way that you can create a fill-in form that gives the option of either entering your own values or selecting some default from a dropdown. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.